Hello. Well, uh, here's one that I think is going to upset a few people. The issue today is should we legalize hard drugs? Now, I'm just not talking here about cannabis or marijuana. I'm talking about seriously hard drugs like heroin, cocaine, methamphetamines. Uh, look, this is a debate, a dispute that's been going on for most of my life. It's, so it's worth revisiting the arguments in the context of today's world and, and the way we think about these things. There's been quite a bit of movement uh, in recent years toward lessening the penalties uh, for possessing and using drugs of various degrees of potency, and there is corresponding opposition to any relaxation of the rules, both as a matter of principle and out of the fear of its consequences. So, as usual, I look at both sides of this argument. Well, first of all, let's talk about those who would say, yes, we should. We should uh, get rid of all the rules that restrict the sale of drugs. Uh, the biggest argument for relaxing the prohibition on hard drugs like uh, cocaine, heroin, and the others that I've mentioned, is the notion of reducing its cost to users, the price they have to pay. Uh, by making drugs legal, cheap, and freely available, we would greatly reduce the necessity for users to commit crime to enable them to feed their respective habits. Just the reduction in the need for young women to turn to prostitution to feed drug habits, just that would be an enormously uh, worthy cause and a reason for doing <laughs> things differently. Um, there is widespread movement toward relaxing restrictions on hard drugs in many countries in the world. Uh, Germany, France, the Czech Republic have all made some moves in this direction. In the case of Portugal, uh, they've eliminated all restrictions on drugs for personal use with what appears to be some considerable success. Uh, they've uh, actually seen uh, drug deaths and uh, crimes related to drugs decline. Look, you, you almost uh, don't have to know anything more than that when you hear that kind of situation. Uh, it's a real lesson for us all. And we have to face the fact that unregulated, the industry can sell pretty bad stuff, un un adulterated products, products that are in dangerous formulations and products that are bogus. Uh, they've had a lot of trouble in America with fentanyl-laced street heroin, which seems to be killing people uh, in a regulated environment, that would be a lot less likely. Um, we have an almost unlimited lack of restrictions on other forms of addiction, like uh, drinking and smoking, most parts of the world. Why should the treatment of hard drugs be any different? Uh, and making illegal, something that people enjoy, does not stop them from wanting it. it, and it doesn't stop the drug dealers from meeting those desires. Uh, well, look, the world would definitely be a better place if we did not have to fight the scourge of drug dealing on street corners, uh, in our parks and schools and so forth. Uh, let's wake up and do something about this problem once and for all. Okay, well, what about those who say, no, we should not. We should not relax the restrictions at all. We should not uh, uh, do anything at all about the uh, illegality of drugs. Well, the biggest reason for opposing any such restriction is that it promotes the idea of, uh, of people harming themselves with artificial means. Uh, we, we should make it easy for people to wreck, should we make it? Why should we make it easy for people to wreck their lives by turning them into inchoate zombies? Uh, relaxation of current prohibitions will certainly result in consumption of mind-bending drugs, which will make it even more likely that I might get killed on the highway by some drug-addicted motorists. Uh, druggies are a threat to public order. And it is virtually unbearable to think that our past efforts of many decades around the world to eradicate the scourge of drugs has been a waste of time, a waste of time and a waste of money. It may be a tough fight, but the alternative is unthinkable. Okay, well, those are all some uh, pretty powerful arguments on both sides. It's a very fraught and difficult issue, so it's not surprising that the arguments would have some emotional impact. Uh, in that uh, context, what's my take on this? 
Well, I guess uh, what I believe is that drug sales should become a regulated industry. Uh, in other words, there should be a place where people can buy their hard drugs in a, in a place that's safe and, by the way, at very modest prices. But it should be at a, a sale price that removes the financial incentive for the existing sales and distribution channels. That's the point. So I'm in favor of moving in this direction as quickly as possible for two reasons. Uh, first of all, our past efforts to defeat the drug industry and drug consumption has been prodigiously expensive and an abysmal failure. It, it's there for everyone to see. It can't be denied. And it has also resulted in the sorry phenomenon of stuffing prisons with drug users, people themselves with pathetic lives. I mean, they're, they're really defeated by this. Also, the comparative success of some countries like Portugal in moving down the road suggests that it would be folly not to give it a serious try. I acknowledge the issue's complexity uh, and the likelihood that mistakes will be made in the process of liberalization, but we should try and try now. Well, I hope you like that. I'm sure I'll have some opposition. <laughs> but uh, in any case, uh, if you did, please give me a like, subscribe, uh, notify, comment, and so forth. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.